Okay, we're going to discuss the calibration of the 2100Q portable turbidity meter from Hack. First, we've got to open the box up, and then we have our turbidity meter in here. Now, this turbidity meter has standards as well. We'll have a 10, micro, a 10 NTU, we have a 1E e NTU, a 100 NTU reading, and a 800 NTU reading. So first of all, we gotta turn the power on, and before we do a calibration, we do verify calibration. So we hit this button, and then it asks to put in the 10 FNU, which is the American version of NTU. So when you're ordering these things, make sure you get the metric or the imperial readings for them. So, and here we start with our 10 NTU, and each bottle will be labeled 10. And the same thing, we gotta make sure this is clean, so we wipe it off, especially for reading turbidity, because a fingerprint can give you a higher reading than what you actually have. Once it's clear, we also get a swirl, because each of these units, if you see the white powder in there, as four is in, and you gotta swirl them around to make sure it's mixed up properly. You don't wanna shake it because you'll then introduce bubbles into the solution, and we don't want that because it'll change your readings as well. Once it's mixed up, the same thing, arrow to arrow, push it in, close your lid, and then hit read. And this unit will tell you if it's within range or not. See, and it says our ver calibration verification is passed. So in a normal situation, you wouldn't go any further than this. But for today, we're going to go through an actual calibration on the unit. So we remove the 10 NTU sample, put it back in the case. And then we hit done for the verification. Then we hit our calibration button here on the bottom left. And then it tells you to start with a 20 FNU which is right here. It'll be 20, It'll each bottle is labeled again. 20 NTU, and I gotta swirl it up again to get that liquid in there mixed up good so you get the right cloudiness. Once it's done that, I gotta polish your cell. Put it in arrow to arrow, close your lid, and hit read. And then once it's done stabilizing, it'll ask for the next cell. Okay, now once that's done, it's asking for the 100 NTU, which will be this one next, is labeled. And but you see in the bottom, we gotta swirl that solution in together to get the proper NTU reading. Once it looks like it's evenly mixed in, wipe your polish your vessel. And put your arrow pointing the arrow after you've pulled this one out. back in, and then you hit read again. Okay, once the 100 NTU sample is done, you remove it, and then we grab the 800 one, it'll be labeled again, 800 NTU, and this one you gotta mix again. This one's gonna be a lot thicker, a lot higher NTU on it, 800 NTU. Once you got it good mixed in, polish it up, and arrow to arrow again and read. And after this step, it'll tell you if your unit has been calibrated correctly or not. Okay, done. Now, uh, once we, we get the calibration done, we hit done. And we always wanna store our results. We hit store and you can go through uh, what everything was reading. Now we hit store, so it archives it into your unit. And then we are on the home screen again. Okay, now once we're done, we can actually sample our cell. You always want to check for scratches on these units. So spin it around, make for scratches. If you ever notice a scratch, each of these kits come with a silicone-based oil that you would drop on here and it would fill the scratches. So what we do is take one drop, put it on here. Then we use our lint-free cloth that comes with each kit to, to uh, polish up the cell while using that drop of silicone. And a little uh, top secret tidbit, if you wear glasses and your glasses are scratched, you can use that to temporarily fill your scratches on your glasses. So once it's all polished up, make sure you got no fingerprints on there and then you wipe it off again one more time with a clean wipe. And we put it into our unit, close the lid, and hit read. 
So we have turbidity reading of 0 0.15 NTU, which is a good reading for surface water. You wanna make sure you calibrate your handhelds at least once a month, because you're gonna calibrate them before you use these tools to calibrate your online turbidity meter and chlorine analyzer.